Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. We have, we have seen so many documentaries on Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman about his leadership. But uh, we hardly have seen any uh, essay that actually encompasses his uh, leadership quality uh, on the YouTube. So I decided to uh, dedicate this effort of mine to introduce to the world about the type of leadership Bangabandhu had and the contribution he made in making a subjugated nation free in the history. So the title of this essay is Bangabandhu Phenomenon, the Legacy of Leadership and the Emancipation of the Nation. In the introduction, I'll try to explain the phenomenal leadership Bangabandhu carried throughout his life. With over three decades of political career immersed in fight for equal equality, social right, and freedom, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman realized how crucial it was for millions of for unfortunate, deprived, and subjugated people of the East Pakistan to be independent. Freeing the East Pakistan from the subjugated statehood under the West Pakistan dimmed as the only way out for the existence and prosperity of the vast majority of Bengali Muslim, Christian, Hindu, and other ethnical communities. The extent of exploitation of wealth and resources by the West Pakistan echoed the brutality and the mindset of the occupation forces of the British rulers, weakening the very foundation of the East Pakistan. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman knew how important it was for him as a torchbearer of the nation to remain firm, determined, fearless in voicing the rights of people, inspiring the entire nation that had been subject to doom and gloom. As a result, despite knowing well that the Declaration of Independence would most likely cost not only his own life, but also the lives of his family members and many other party leaders, he gave priorities to the need of the people and remained rock solid as a mountain in his conviction. Nothing could stop him, and he was ready to make the supreme sacrifice for the emancipation of the people who had been suffering for centuries. His realization was true. And so were his thoughts. The one quarter of his life he had lost in different Pakistani jails for up upholding the right of his people signifies that arrest and imprisonment meant nothing to him but a bare number. Psychologically and morally, his immediate, and Im him, his, his immediate arrest and imprisonment for nine and a half months by Pakistani government for his leadership of Bengali independent movement failed to diminish his spirit, even though the way he had consistently been threatened was as frightening as standing on the gallows with the head in the noose. So the Declaration of Independence of Bangladesh by Sheikh Mujibur Rahman has been incepted in the history as one of the chivalric acts of charismatic leadership for freedom and emancipation of a nation that had been subject to exploitation for centuries inexplicably, inexplicably, inexplicably first by the colonizer and then by the Pakistani rulers. The deep and sincere love he always carried in his heart for a subjugated, helpless nation, arguably the best of all his personality traits, measuring equally to the depth of the blue oceans and the vastness of the blue sky, had been instrumental in inspiring the people in 1971 to emerge proudly as an independent nation. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman is an ideal textbook case for the historians to teach their disciples to know, understand, and realize how much love, courage, passion a leader must have to inspire a nation 
or what truth a leader must bring forward to lead a nation, or what extent of sacrifice one must offer before he is able to unite millions of people on a single platform, or how much suffering a leader must endure to, vi to vibrate hope in the heart of millions. Indeed, studying his 1970 pre-election speeches, or listening to 1971 post-election speeches, or the two 1972 post-liberation speeches, or examining the sacred and passionate narratives that he delivered on March 7, 1971 in the Rescourse Maidan, Dhaka, while addressing his people, brings one close to the understanding of his political doctrines and the leadership vision. His speeches are the historic blueprints of how profoundly he felt for the suffering of the people. It is the social justice, freedom, equality of rights, and well-being of people that dominated his conscious and subconscious being, nurturing his imagination and intellectual potential till the day he breathed his last. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman's March 7, 1971 speech had been archived by UNESCO as the documentary heritage of the world, the versatile and magical spell created by its intuitive, emotional rhetoric and eloquence, the blood of the street, the history of suffering, is an epical rhapsody unparalleled in the history. <clears throat> Indeed, it was the very spark that ignited the spirit of freedom among the people and let them rewrite history of the nation from darkness to light, from captivity to freedom, from dissolution to hope. Life of Bengali-speaking people in the statehood of Pakistan was nothing more than a tragic narrative of bleakness and surreal episode of frustration and suffering. In the face of social injustice and economic disparities resulting from malicious government policies, economic exploitation, shattered social life, deprived political rights, collapsed job sector, uncared irrigation system, chiffon of foreign re reserve, and West Pakistan-based economic investment, these people were literally stranded and left to die in hunger and poverty. Pakistan, unlike India, was unable to build credible political and democratic institutions with the participation of the people from its states. It utterly neglected the Bengalis in the government jobs and national assembly. Rather, its political leaders were equally corrupted, working as aides to the military junto. So when Sheikh Mujibur, Rahman, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, having resuscitated Bengali nationalism by six-point movement, declared the independence of Bangladesh, called up and called upon the people to fight for it with whatever they had and protect it, the nation that had been exposed to doom and gloom for almost three decades by the West Pakistani military authoritarian rulers and by their equally corrupted civilian political partners, as if we're missing this voice of freedom and independence came out univocally with all their strength and courage. His leadership was phenomenal in inspiring the international and f the freedom fighters to resist against the occupation army and fight till the last soldier of Pakistan was expelled from the soil of independent Bangladesh. The history documents the speech of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman on call for freedom on 7th March as an epic masterpiece, rhetorically, rhetorically emerged in unique imagery, symbols, and metaphors, reflecting the struggles, pains, sufferings, and wishes of the conscious and the subconscious domain of every living soul that carry Bengali nation, nationhood. Its impact was instantaneous, deeper than the ocean, heavier than the Himalayas, and greater than the longest desert of the Tut of the world, touching the hearts of the millions both at home and abroad. And they had no warfare training, and that they had no warfare training, no generals, no military, no technological or artillery advantages or whatsoever hardly mattered. Thank you.